My Lords, it's a pleasure to follow the noble Lord, Lord Teveson, and to agree with every word he just said. Um, and I'd like to thank the noble Lord the Minister for his introduction uh, to this debate and also to thank uh, the Minister and his officials for our um, very detailed and useful discussion this morning, uh, particularly accompanied by such a lively avian accompaniment to it. Um, I'm just going to take a second to reflect on the place of your Lordship's house. And I was having a discussion uh, a couple of days ago with a crossbench peer for whom I have the greatest respect. And that peer was expressing great frustration at the huge amount of work done in your Lordship's house that so often, as the noble Lord D D Teveson just said, gets casually dismissed in the other place. And yet we're so often told, oh, well, we can't send too many things back to them, we can't resist too hard, we're the unelected house, which of course raises a whole other question about the Constitution. But nonetheless, I really fear, and we've seen some cases of this already, that many of our very strong, fine peers are getting fed up and really considering whether they are going to continue to devote their time to your Lordship's House. And I think it's crucial we recognise we're in a different political time and we are crucial to the future of this country, its environment and people, and we need to stand firm. Now, I have come under strong pressure, as I'm sure many will, will be aware, not to push forward with the Soils Amendment. And those who are looking closely will notice that I haven't pushed forward with the same amendment as was sent to the other place. My amendment in lieu simply refers to soil quality rather than, as the, initial, the amendment sent to the other place said, soil quality and soil health. Now, health very often talks about the biology of a soil. Quality is frequently used to refer to the structure. Now, I'm being guided here particularly by the Sustainable Soils Alliance, but also by other academics, independent experts and farmers who say that it is possible to use the metrics from the Soil Structure Monitoring Scheme to establish a target specifically for soil structure, which would fit the definition of quality. And as the Noble Lord the Minister said in, I believe it was um, report stage debate, targets can be iterative. They can be developed, evolved and finessed over time. Now I acknowledge that the Noble Lord the Minister here, and indeed the ministers in the other place, have spoken often and very clearly and clearly are engaged with the issues of soil that are so crucial. crucial. But we all know that ministers change, and the only thing that will guarantee a way forward is for soils being on the face of the bill. My Lords, I put it to you that this bill is fundamentally deficient if we do not have soils there with equal weighting and equal place alongside air and water. And I would say that I'm afraid the Labour Lord, the Minister, also in debate at one point said, well, you know, if we're looking after air and water, well, we'll sort of be looking after soils as well. I'm afraid that very powerfully makes, I believe, the argument for me. It risks falling into a second order unless it is given the same status. And I note that your Lordship's House, in report, the margin by which this vote was won was equal top with the noble Duke of Wellington's sewage amendment. This was a very clear voice from your Lordship's House at report stage. I also particularly wish to acknowledge the uh, very strong efforts in this area by the noble Earl of Caithness, who has done a tremendous job and indeed saw some steps forward from the government. But I would say those steps are still not enough. And I finish, my Lords, given the pressure of time, just by noting that the amendments we're looking at today, I do not believe, are either or. All of the amendments that have been retabled today are crucial. My noble friend, Baroness Jones of Molscombe, will be addressing in more detail interim targets, but I would stress that that is crucial as well. And I also want to acknowledge the efforts of the noble Earl uh, Deben and the noble Baroness Brown in supporting my amendment last time round. I would urge your Lordships to show that we are really here to make a difference. And I give notice of my intention to push this amendment to a vote.